To balance this equation, CHCl3 plus HF will first count off the atoms on each side. So we have one carbon here, hydrogens we have one, and don't forget the one here with the hydrofluoric acid. That gives us two, three chlorine atoms, and one fluorine. Product side, we have the one carbon, one hydrogen, plus the one here. So we have two over here, one chlorine, and then three fluorine atoms. Let's start and balance the chlorine atoms. We'll put a three in front of the HCl. So now we need to update the hydrogen atoms. So we have one plus the three times one. That gives us four, but for the chlorines, we have the one times the three. So that does balance the chlorine atoms. Let's see what we can do with the fluorine atoms. We could put a three here. So let's update this. So we have the one hydrogen here plus the one times three. That gives us four, and for the fluorines, the one fluorine times three, that'll give us three. We're done. This equation is balanced. If you had problems with this equation, my guess is it would be in counting up the number of hydrogens. People often count this hydrogen, and then they forget about this one here. So it's important that you're careful counting the atoms up and balancing this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CHCl3 plus HF. Thanks for watching.